What's up guys? It's been a long time. Thought I'd do a quick mailbag video today. Sorry for the delay in videos. I had to take a little bit of a break. I was just completely burnt out. Back to normal programming, I hope. We'll get lots of this stuff made through the holiday season, I think. I have lots of projects in mind. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. I'll put them up on the screen right here. You guys make these videos possible. On to the mailbag. Okay, as I mentioned last video, it's fall and it's time to kind of replenish the stock of components and get ready to start on some different projects. So first out of the box, we have some ESP32s. This is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. Incredibly powerful little units, these. It's even capable of video. It's absolutely crazy what these are capable of and program them with the Arduino IDE, standard Arduino code with a few modifications and get you up and going. Jump on your Wi-Fi network, do some cool projects. Next out of the box, we have the Funduino. This is a joystick pad shield that goes on an Arduino Uno form factor. Multiple tactile buttons, little joystick, a couple more tack switches in there, and some of the other GPIO broken out and labeled like Bluetooth and uh, what are these? Oh, I squared C. Very, very cool. This might be a fun little project to play with. Next up out of the box. These are raw Arduino boards. This is the Atmega 328 and sockets. This is the same chip that you find on the Arduino Nano and the Arduino Uno. And this will allow us to do standalone Arduino projects and make just about anything we want without the need of the Arduino form factor. This chip can do all the heavy lifting just without the USB interface and stuff. We can program it and embed it right into our projects. Very, very cool. Next up, we got some spare LED matrices. LED matrix matrices? Nah, I'm not sure what the plural of that is. Basically, these are the ones that I used for the YouTube subscriber counter with an ESP8266 and a scrolling text display. Now, I don't use uh, LED matrix very often, but they are a handy thing to have in your bin. If you want something to enunciate uh, a scrolling text display and be very visible to people, that one got some shipping damage, bent pins, no big deal, but this'll do the job. And uh, I forget, it's the Max, uh, I forget the chipset. You can go down in my GitHub, uh, just go to my MKME GitHub and you'll find the link to these, um, the sample code that I used and the other projects. I think it's the 7219 or something chipset. I forget. Very neat little board. Got two of them. Now, if I want to do, I think I might do another subscriber counter and have one on the bench here. That might be neat. Next up out of the bin. I don't even think I need to take these out. This is just more ESP32s. Same form factor as before, but now we got two more of them. Can't have too many of these. I, I didn't have very many 32s because truthfully I've been using the ESP8266 for so long and I've just not jumped on board with these because the price was higher. Well, now the price is basically the same. So more spares. Next up, we got the Wolf Whoop video transmitter with complete OSD and an SD card recorder. So it's got on-screen display, it'll go out to beta flight, as well as onboard DVR, which is really, really neat. I've never tried one of this style before. They contacted me and asked me if I'd give this a go, and definitely will. You can find this link down below from Amazon. They're actually kind of making a name for themselves in the FPV community, and I'm looking forward. They, they market it to, as a long range version. This is a 1.2 watts. This is a 1200 milliwatt version, if I remember right. And this will get you out there. <laughs> Crazy powerful. Let's give it a try in an upcoming video. Next out of the box, more jumper wires. These are jumper wire assortment kits. These are preformed, so you can use these on breadboards, but they are uh, more clean and just nicer looking. So you set these in and you can use these short ones on little short runs and just have your breadboard look kind of a little bit more pro while you're prototyping a circuit. Very, very neat. 
and maybe last for this video, something I've been anticipating for a long time. This is a full on logic analyzer. It's a USB connected logic analyzer system. And the price of these is just ridiculous cheap. It's just got standard terminals out at the end. It should come with some clippy clips. No, nope, just jumpers, but I have some clip style connections. Just female into the end there. The other end goes to your PC and you can use various softwares. I think this is made probably a clone of the Sele or, or one of the others, but basically you can do full on logic analyzing. I uh, forget the bandwidth of it, but it's pretty good. It's not a bad little unit and ridiculous cheap. So in an upcoming video, we'll give it a try. We'll put it on some data buses and maybe decode some I squared C or some serial or whatever. The software is capable of doing what I do on the lab scope on my digital storage oscilloscope, except actually interpret that into something that a human can understand. Really good for reverse engineering some things if you wanted to figure out how something works or uh, snoop what's on uh, I squared C bus or serial or whatever, any of the other protocols, this will do it. Really, really cheap eBay or Amazon link down below. Hope you enjoyed that mailbag video. If you did click a thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you next week.